Hey guys, Mars Ingen here bringing you another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan battle video and so we just got an update on the JP side over on the news. Sadly no Golden Week teasers as of yet but we do have an official announcement of the EZA for LR Krillin. Now at this point the details of his EZA have not yet been released or any that I have seen but they have shown off the fact that he is getting an EZA. I can't remember there was something recently that hinted at this. I think it was, um, oh that was it, in one of the data downloads um, it was noted that there was missions added for getting him to LR which is basically what they add in for these LRs when they get their legendary campaigns which is when they're going to get their EZAs basically. So just like any of the Prime Battle EZAs this is going to be a Extreme Z area and you have to use a full team of Rainbow EZA units. So this is the image that they showed in the news. We have the SCR Android 18, Int Debora, Physical Nappa, uh, the LR Prime Battle Vegeta, the Tech Zarbon and Dodoria, and then Physical Second Form Freezer. So remember, you have to have all of these units rainbowed and fully easy aid in order for them to actually go into the event. So you have to make sure you have these units done. Obviously when his EZA officially drops, uh, all of these events will be live so that you can do them if you haven't done them. Uh, but obviously if you are missing one or two, you can go ahead and do those uh, now while you wait for the thing to actually go live. Obviously Deborah and Nappa are from the barbershop. I believe they recently lowered the price of them as well. So I guess this is why, right? To make it easier for everybody to get them to do the EZA. So... LR Krillin, we don't know his details yet, obviously he's a unit that people still use a lot for the world tournament, so it'll be interesting to see what they do with his EZA, because if they give him um, any sort of like guaranteed crits, especially if it's, even if it includes like, it has to be reliant on multiple opponents or something like that, that could obviously be very, very powerful, right, you think about how effective um str piccolo is in the world tournament and it is basically because he gets the guaranteed crits right so it's very easy for him to take out all the enemies including type disadvantage so his aoe is the 12 key uh, he does raise attack um i'm trying to think of him more in terms of world tournament but i guess it'll be interesting to see what they do in terms of using him in actual difficult content because he does raise attack and defense on his 18 key super and it is an infinite stack so Imagine if they upgraded this to like greatly raises, that would be pretty cool. And obviously Prime Battle LRs used to all just be flat number buffs. And when of course they EZA, they're going to change these into actual like percentages. Which of course will make the unit significantly better. So he gets defense at start of turn, gets all his attack when performing a super. He gets additional attack if it's an ultra super. Three key when facing one enemy. And then attack 10,000 at the start of the turn per existing enemy when facing two or more. Launches an additional super attack when facing six or more enemies. So this part is literally for the world tournament, right? He gets a guaranteed double super in the world tournament. So unfortunately for him as he currently stands, he actually needs both of those supers to actually take out all of the enemies once you get to like the final in times 30. So there's a lot they could do to make him very good. Um, increase this to greatly raises on his super attack or just give him like extra defense when performing a super and he could be reasonably good for uh, the single I say single player right single enemy content because he's on teams like warriors raised on earth he's on turtle school so he's on Yamcha's 200% leader skill um, he's on Saiyan Saga bond of friendship battle of wits he's on like a few decent teams so I could see him being quite interesting. Now the one thing that strikes me straight away about the team that you have to use for the Extreme Z area, and they do this quite a lot, none of these units are on the same team. So you've got the Vegeta is a pure Saiyans leader. Uh, he's the only pure Saiyan unit. Um, now obviously he's got type disadvantage, but if you're getting his 18 key super, greatly raised defense, like he should be pretty solid. Gets additional attacks, like he should be decent. Um, maybe if he eats a super, he'd take a bit of damage, but these Prime Battle uh, Extreme Z areas are obviously not the hardest events in the world. Uh, then we have this Dabura. Again, he's got type disadvantage. He is a support for um, Int, so obviously him and the Vegeta together, even though they don't really share any links. Do you have Shattering the Limit? No, because, yeah, you do have Shattering the Limit. That's it. So, interesting, but at least there's some synergy there with the support, I suppose. Um, then we have Nappa, 
Uh, physical supports the other physical units, so obviously him and the Freezer will work fairly nicely together. Um, he leads Transformation Boost, which none of the other characters are on. Uh, then you've got Zarbon and Dodoria. I think these guys are the closest you'll get to filling most of your team with their leader skill, right? They lead Space Traveling Warriors, which will be them, Freezer, and I think Nappa. Yeah, that's Dabura. Um Yeah, Nappa's on Space Traveling Warriors as well. Um, and then we have the STR Android 18, whose leader skill is Androids. So when you look at the categories that all of these characters are on, um, not a single one of them has a leader skill that covers every single member of the team. And I hate Extreme Z areas when they do this, right? I know people are not really fans of Extreme Z areas in general anyway. A lot of people would just prefer that there was an actual EZA event. I think that's mainly for the stones, right? Because people genu generally hate 30 stage EZAs, but at least you get a bunch of stones out of them. Whereas Extreme Z areas, they technically are less of a grind, especially now that they've revamped the stage. Um, but you obviously don't get any stones. You get what, like the two stones for completing the difficulties. Although the LR one is only one stage, isn't it? So you're going to get like one stone. Um, and then of course you don't get Kai's as mission rewards. So you have to farm up an extra copy of the LR to SA5 if you want to get the free SA25 for him. So I know people dislike Extreme Z areas pretty much in general, but this is the part about it that makes it the most frustrating. If they made it so you could run an actual cohesive team that fits together under a leader skill, then it would be a lot easier. But otherwise it means now we're going to be running characters who are not getting a leader skill. At this point, because we haven't seen the event in the data yet, we don't know who the friend leader that it gives you is. But as I say, none of these characters are on one category like all together uh, space traveling warriors is probably the closest you're gonna get um because this guy are you on transformation boost nope so then you're not on the leader skill for you no one else is on transformation boost no one else is on androids so space traveling warriors is kind of the closest you're gonna get with three out of the six under the leader skill so i do think that is a little bit disappointing um it always annoys me when they do extreme z areas like that but I mean, at the end of the day, what are you going to do? So let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. What would you like to see from the EZA for Krillin? And uh, like I say, I think he has a lot of potential for things they could do to make him good for actual difficult content. Um, otherwise, I feel like even with just the most minor buff, he's still going to be boosted as a world tournament unit that you want to use. But... I'm kind of hoping that he gets something that makes him a little bit more than that, right? Because I don't want him to just be like he is now, where he's just a unit that you use in the World Tournament. And even then, he's one of the worst units like on the team, right? Um, I'm not sure. I can't remember with the leader skills what they're going to go up to. Because he's a prime battle LR that has one of the higher leader skills. Earthlings, 4 key and 150. So I imagine this is probably only going to go up to like 160, right? It's not going to be anything too crazy, but he might have one of the higher free-to-play leader skills, actually, once he gets his EZA. So definitely interested to see what he's going to look like post-EZA. Um, he certainly could be quite good. Um, he's on some of these teams that will be buffed by Golden Week as well, like with the Goku. Uh, teams like Warriors Raised on Earth and Turtle School obviously could be looking for some decent buffs. So I have... Um, I wouldn't say high hopes, right? But I, I have some hope that Krillin could be good for something outside of the World Tournament. But I guess we will have to wait and see. So, like I say, let me know down below in the comment section. What would you like to see from his EZA if you could design it? Um, I think there's some good potential there. But let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. So, that is going to be it for the video, guys. This has been The Master Ningen. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Check out the links down below for the Discord and the merch store. And I will see you all again soon. Have a good one.